What's up everyone? My name is Taylor Nemechek and this is Who's That Saint? Come on, really? Nope, this way. Hold up, a little lower. Sorry about that, this is his first day on the lights and just don't mind him. No, light back on me. You probably noticed that there is a bit of a difference in today's intro and you're gonna see that there's a theme behind it. So as we go through this video, see if you can catch on to this theme of this saint. So starting off, St. John Paul II has a quote saying, Beauty is a key to the mystery and a call to transcendence. It is an invitation to savor life and to dream of the future. That is why the beauty of created things can never fully satisfy. It stirs that hidden nostalgia for God. So jumping back to the early years of the first Christian millennium, the theater was really debased and in, in human. And this is because human culture had taken this steep downcline and become really debased. Um, and this is actually what makes the story of this actor and martyr so unique and inspiring. And it's especially very timely, for theater in today's day and age is getting back on this slo downhill slope and becoming debased yet again. And as culture moves away from God, the understanding of the dignity of the human person is being lost. And so the story of this great saint needs to be retold and kept near to our hearts. Let him be an inspiration for our new Christian playwriters, act actors, artists. We've come to know the story of this martyr through an ancient Christian tradition. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. But it was affirmed in the Acts of the Martyrs, which is a document that was written in the 7th century. So in the 3rd and 4th centuries, there was a brutal persecution of Christians under an evil emperor that you all are familiar with. If you remember the name Diocletian, he was the evil emperor who lusted after the young Philomena in one of the earlier episodes. And if you haven't seen the video on St. Philomena, uh, go ahead and click on the link below after this video and that'll take you right there. During the same evil reign of Diocletian, we now look at the story of a pagan man who was in the world of theater and wrote a play mocking Christianity. So the saint we're going to look at today is St. Genesius. And the question is, who is St. Genesius? In the year of 303, Diocletian traveled to Rome to celebrate being emperor for 20 years, and knowing how much the emperor hated the Christian faith, Genesius thought that writing and performing a play mocking the Christian faith that Diocletian hated so much would be a way that he could advance himself and get himself higher up on the bar. And so, to prepare for this play, he wanted to better understand the Christian faith and everything that Christians believed. So. He made the Christian community believe he wanted to enter the catech catechumenate and prepare for a Christian baptism and into the faith. And the community accepted him into the catechumenate, and so he began his lessons and began learning about the Christian faith. And during his time of instruction, he decided of all the things of the Christian faith that the main subject of the play would be the Christian claims that baptism washed away sin and made the newly baptized person enter into a new life with Jesus Christ. But also during this time of instruction, he found that he was slowly growing more and more intrigued and drawn to the Savior that he was trying to mock. So more in disgust with himself than anything else, he finally left the catechumenate and rejected the claims of Christianity and just tried to throw all of that behind him. A little shaken with everything that was going on, Genesius decided to continue with his plan to write and perform a play mocking Christianity in front of Diocletian because he was hungry for the recognition that this was going to bring him. And the time for the play came and Genesius appeared on stage acting as a man just really attacked with sickness and disease and who was just begging to be baptized. And so an actor playing as a Christian priest came forward to baptize this sick man. And everything was going perfectly, everything was following the plan just right, All the whole play was just mocking everything about the Christian faith, but God had some other plans. And you've probably heard the joke, but how do you make God laugh? You tell him your plans. No? Okay. 
Anyways, as the actor was pouring water over Genesius' head, the grace of God fell upon him. He saw Christ in the true Christian faith. In the Acts of the Martyrs, it says that Genesius then began giving testimony to Jesus Christ in front of all who were watching the play. He boldly called on Diocletian, just calling him out in the stands, to give his life to Jesus, saying these words, I came here today to please an earthly emperor, but what I have done is to please a heavenly king. I came here to give you laughter, but what I have done is to give joy to God and his angels. From this moment on, believe me, I will never mock these great mysteries again. I now know that the Lord Jesus Christ is the true God, the light, the truth, and the mercy of all who have received his gift of baptism. O great emperor, believe in these mysteries. I will teach you, and you will know the Lord Jesus Christ is the true God. So that's pretty powerful stuff for this once pagan man to be saying in front of an emperor who absolutely despised the Christian faith. So as you might guess, Diocletian became enraged and tortured and beheaded Genesius when he would not renounce his faith. Sadly, that put an end to Genesius' really short ministry, but it made an impact, and it, he is a hope for all authors, actors, artists, film writers, and all of us, and he is someone we can keep close to our hearts and keep as an inspiration. St. Genesius, as you probably expect, is the patron saint of actors, and his feast day is on August 25th. So there's our answer to who is St. Genesius. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something that you didn't already know about this great martyr. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and comment below if you have any saints that you'd like to see on future episodes, or any ideas for other videos that I could post on Wednesdays. And as always, stay tuned for next episode of Who's That Saint next Sunday. We'll see you next time. God bless.